I'm going to work hard to like have girls be treated the same as boys because I was also not very accepted in any of the clubs. What, what was it like growing up in the States for a period of time? I must say I didn't enjoy a lot of it. I think being so young, I think it really helped me grow up fast though. Because you was on your own, right? Well, my, my dad was taking me more to bigger events. He, he was like, you're going to improve when you play against the best. You know, my first couple of years were, were tough. I, I mean, you're 10 and parents are not allowed to come and support their kids. And he goes, you know, this is illegal what you're doing. I'm playing 36 holes the next morning. And you've got this in your mind as and well. And I'm 10 and I don't yeah. know anyone. How did they take to you winning things as a youngster? They hated me and never, like, no one wanted to play with me, like in the ladies kind of club champs. Do you think she's helped um, the women's game <laughs> or not? She's taking it too far. Welcome back to another episode of Out of Bounds. I'm Jay. And I'm Trey. This episode is super interesting. We hear uh, all the stories uh, from Carly Booth. Make sure you head over to the YouTube channel to subscribe. It really helps the channel grow and get better guests on for you in each episode. Carly, welcome to the show. Thank you. So happy to be here. It's great to have you on. Um, this is the Out of Bounds show. And firstly, I mean, let's just jump straight in. Let's have a conversation. I want to know a little bit more about your kind of early days into golf because you were like superstar junior golfer like club champion <laughs> at your club at 11 i think you said you were at three uh, clubs yeah three clubs don't and be modest just be honest well, yeah. well the first one on my 11th birthday so that was lovely <laughs> no way followed, um, so you're only next... just 11. yeah well a lot of people said i was 11 for about 13 years but <laughs> <laughs> i'm almost 31 now so um it's love to t like it's lovely to talk about the past um Luckily, growing up on a on a hundred acre farm where my my dad built a small golf course, wow. and an older brother that uh, seven years older that got into golf, so I was only maybe like four or five where he'd be out and swinging away, and I'd steal a golf club <laughs> and probably hit him or something by accident. Um, but they uh, gave us well, my mum and my dad gave us opportunities to try every sport growing up. So swimming, gymnastics was one of my main ones. And then I had to kind of make a decision. Is, is golf or is it swimming or what route I wanted to go down? Um, it's always like that, isn't it? Because I, I, I had that when I was growing up, obviously. Yeah. I, I, my dad was a boxing coach, an amateur oh, boxing amazing. coach. And because I had kind of like anger issues and stuff back then it was like well, that, that's actually really funny enough my dad was a wrestler <laughs> oh really and he had anger issues coming from Aberdeen <laughs> oh there you go then so and, for me it was kind of yeah. like I got to a stage where you have to choose between boxing or football and yeah bo football boxing well, was too hard training my, um, well my dad he was going for football and uh, broke his ankle and he oh. grew up playing with Dennis Law oh really and then he went bad yeah <laughs> So I have a dad from Aberdeen and a mum from Liverpool. And then my dad took a job when he was young. He hates school. He always went to me, don't. Oh, when, once you're 15, I left school at 15. Once I was 16, oh, you don't have to go. Just, just focus on, on sport. Um, and this is when I just came back from America. But he went down to Liverpool and got a job and uh, some construction thing. And then one person said... Um, about coming to a gym because yeah. that's something he was obviously very uh, intrigued about, about. Yeah. Um, and it was a wrestling gym I'm like god you're really good at this um, and he's like have you wrestled before and um, he's like no I've just got five older brothers so <laughs> I, I, like, I had to wrestling. fight I like, <laughs> did that every day to, then <laughs> yeah, literally um, but yeah I went to the Commonwealth Games um, won a silver medal and yeah, so it's weird when people ask amazing, when, right? how is it you're golfing and he's a wrestler. <laughs> yeah. So, um, so you've got success in the family. In we the have, very, <laughs> we have a very competitive family. Mm. My mum played netball <laughs> and my older brother, he was amazing at golf. So talented. Uh, Walker Cup, uh, world boys champion as an amateur, just too many injuries, turning pro. Yeah, he was literally who I looked up to. What, what was it like growing up in the States for a period of time then? And how do you draw a comparison of that life to the life in the UK? Well, um, I must say I didn't enjoy a lot of it. I think being so young, 
I think it really helped me grow up fast, though. Because you was on your own, right? Well, yeah. So, 14, went to IMG Academies. One of, you know, well, actually, one of my dorm mates was Heather Watson, tennis okay. player. Yeah. Oh. So, it's amazing to see all the, like, thousands of people that were there that year uh, for different sports, um, basketball, golf, tennis. Soccer, football first, but yeah, yeah. soccer and baseball. And we're all young and mm -hmm. we're all just, it was something I've never experienced from being like a bit of a loner yeah. to then mm -hmm. feeling like I've got a, group a, of people. got a yeah, yeah. family that you live with. So I did a year there and then I did a year in Arizona, which was a little bit different. I um, lived with a a host family and worked with a, a top 50 in the world um, coach. And uh, do you know what, actually, I don't know if I should say, should I say that? You can say whatever you, can say you want. You can cut it if you don't want it. Afterwards. Well, the, when I was so 14, I just, accept, I had people come to the family home. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, family home. I'm not quite sure. I'm, I, I was like number one in the in Europe this time. I'm just I just play golf at this point. Um, wanting to, me to to take a scholarship to America. So you know, obviously, my dad gets a little bit like, this is where she's gonna really improve, and this yeah. is where she needs to be. She needs to be competing against yeah. the best, yeah. and that's where. She, and my mom's like, she's fourteen, like she's too young. Step no, out of comfort yeah. Zone. Yeah, yeah. So a bit of a I'm like in the middle here. Yeah. Um, Did you have final say? I just, I think I knew it would be good for me, but I was a bit scared. Didn't want to leave home, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but I knew it would be an experience. But then like when, now it's like two, like <laughs> two months later, I'm like, oh my God, I'm just. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, yeah it sets in. But I, um, during that time, I arrived late, uh, a month late. You were meant to start in August and a, um, a whole month later because uh, I had a couple of tournaments uh, back in the UK and one of which was the Duke of York. Yeah. And that was Prin uh, Prince Andrew. The, yes, I swear. <coughs> but um, where I can say I won that and it's the best girl and best boy in each country. Wow. And winning it at 14 was like, Unbelievable. wow. Yeah. And he's like following his helicopter and he's outside the Donald links yeah. up in Scotland. And my dad's there. And there's a few, obviously, I, I mean, this is what he's telling me because I'm obviously playing golf. Yeah. <laughs> so um, I've got pictures with him and stuff. Yeah. But he, uh, someone approached uh, my dad, this is me coming up the 18th, and they're finding it very fascinating. Someone only 14 against literally the best players, the first, like the best players, one of each, like boy and girl. And um, we're starting a school in London. We'd love to give Carly a scholarship to this. Um, I, can't, I don't, can't remember the name of the actual uh, school, but my dad goes. No, um, she's just at this moment um, accepted a scholarship, a sport, sports side, to IMG Academies. America, but we, yeah. my brother Wallace, he was yeah. at Augusta State at the time. Yeah. He, yeah, I don't even know where to start with Wallace. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone always says like, if he didn't, I don't think enough. He thinks too much. If you yeah. smashed your heads together, you'd be world number one. <laughs> um, I'll get to him in a minute because yeah. I want to talk about him. But um, my dad goes, well, she might only do six months because the whole scholarship, they didn't say about the schooling side. So that was another 15000 That was a $15,000. My dad, like, I'm paying for my, my son at yeah. Gus State. We can't aff afford Both that. Both, yeah. And then whoever, was, like I can't remember names or know these people very well, but um, uh, I think someone speaking to my dad 
then went up to Prince Andrew, and then Aunt Prince Andrew goes to my dad, oh, we'll pay for it. And he goes, no, we can't, we, we can't, you can't, we can't accept money. We're a charity. We can do what we want. Anyway, I, two years later, obviously, I did one year, and then I went yeah. and did the Arizona, and then I made yeah. Curtis Cup, which yeah. was 15 youngest ever to make Curtis Cup. And the privilege of the team, we could go into Buckingham Palace. <laughs> Oh, wow. You know where you're like trying to hide your phone? <laughs> <laughs> you're breaking records. Well, it wasn't me like taking the selfies. I was the youngest. Um, <laughs> so you were, you, then, you, you were know, very shy, yeah? I used to be. <laughs> yeah. And then I have my moments. I'm getting more shy now. <laughs> but, um, you know, when you're like... <laughs> yeah, don't worry about it. We're all trying to be really, really like reserved. Prim and proper, yeah, yeah. And, um, and then like these little sandwiches. My God, they're so small. Like I used to eat like a horse, so I used to train so much, and then Prince Andrew comes in. Hello, girls. Like, I was like, I want to meet. I was like, I want to meet the Queen. To be fair, but he's like, he sits like this. Chilling. But he does. He sits like this. So how are we all doing? Like, and we're just like shocked. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then he re re remembers me, he's like, oh, how's it going? I left like maybe an half ago. <laughs> <laughs> like, he didn't even realize he wasn't so, well, he just covered that one yeah. year and I left. But I was like, this is bombaric. Like everyone was just so like timid. Like nervous and yeah. yeah. As you would be though, right? Yeah, well, we're all young. We're all like, I mean, the whole, most of the team were like 18 and younger and to go and have an opportunity to go into Buckingham Palace is like, whoa. Yeah. Um, I mean, I'm from London. I've never been to Buckingham Palace. No. No. I've never, to be honest, until... I walked past. Yeah, until, until I also, recently. I hadn't even walked past so, it. <laughs> but, you know, I also find it funny because, like, you know, people come from all over the world to, like, see sites and travel. And I am the most <laughs> non like, um, I don't want to see stuff, you know, when I just no, I'm, literally I'm, I'm get to, you. I get to the airport, get to the, ho like, the hotel, golf course, back and forth, and you imagine going no, to I'm a country. Not like that. I'm definitely, I'm not I, like I don't that. sightsee at all. You know. I hate it. I hate it as well, it's so Why? boring for me. I don't know, I'm just not you like just that. You're just on your no. hotel pool, like sunbed, yeah. Hit me That's sun. me, like, yeah. That, yeah. Music, but, yeah. sunbed, yeah, football exactly. pitch, golf court. That's it. I don't know. I can do the course just go and that. Do my but thing. No. Um, yeah. And uh, it's like being in India for like, I went there 14 times. I've never seen the Taj Mahal. India, uh, sorry, sorry, China, never gone to the Great Wall. And I've been there like 15, 16 times. All, and all over it. We it doesn't used to go interest there. you. It just, uh, it's like the only time I made an effort was when I went to Sydney. And uh, we usually play. Opera, opera house or the, well, the Gold Coast and then yes. Melbourne. So I never went to Sydney before. And I was like, I actually got a train. And imagine like, the stress I came in trying to get <laughs> even a train into London today and in the June. I'm like, this is how I felt. I did you all missed your my stop own. today, didn't you? No, I didn't. No, you didn't I miss just it. Was sweating. I was sweating. <laughs> I asked someone, thank God it was from Liverpool. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was like, thanks, can I just be your buddy for this next trip? Because uh, I never, I always get so confused. You don't like coming into London? Everyone's Too like, much going on. It's so busy and it's so hot and I'm like, yeah, yeah just... Well, you, you sound like a real country girl then. Well, that's where I'm from. <laughs> well, Liverpool. And then I'm good at flights. You know, we've got your ticket. So, okay, sometimes stressful going through like, you know, security and stuff, but then they can chill. I always get there extra early. Um, so I'm the opposite. I always get there I'm, like just on, like I, I just came back from Italy. You're the Puglia, opposite. And I'm, I'm, like, I, I'm, tu I'm turning up like with about an hour to get to the gate. <laughs> like, I'm just frying like everything it, corn. It's, like <laughs> it's funny how people are like that, to be fair. But this time, like I said, I, I took this, I kind of asked, or the, the host family I was staying with, said, can you drop me at the train? Mm. It was 40 minutes. And I asked a stranger to take a picture outside the, the opera yeah. house thing. And then just went straight back on the train and went back. <laughs> I literally just want photo. Yeah, I'm the same as you. I'm, not, I'm really not into that. I was I like, I just, gotta, I just gotta get the photo. I feel like you it's know a waste fun? though, if I go that somewhere and I don't like go and look around the do place and get the feel for the town or whatever. Do you know when I see that? A lot, that's the thing. 
people say to me like, oh my God, oh, you're a professional golfer. What life you live, you travel the world and play golf. I'm like, okay, but like, you know, it's... Did you enjoy it? When I won. Do you, do you, well, okay, no. so let me ask you this question, because this is what I always... Like, I, it's, in, it's, in, it's, it's a lonely <laughs> life, though. Mm. Like, you know, people don't quite comprehend the, yeah. the sacrifices. Mm. And, okay, the amazing side we do have. Travelling on your own, hotels, like... Yeah. It's, it's, but for, for me, like, I, to me, like, I look at a golfer's life, and you can tell me, like... To me, it's exciting, because I think life's all about doing what you love doing and travelling and experiencing the world, right? So for me... I'm retired now. I, I used to be a, a professional footballer. Did you? Yeah, so we... <laughs> <laughs> so we, we obviously travelled a lot. And I was in hotels a lot. And, you know, you... For me, like, I, I can quite happily be by my... Like, in COVID, I was actually... Yeah. When I finished my career, I was actually there for two years, basically. And I was by myself. But for me, I didn't Where really... Where were you, sorry, saying? I was in, like, close to Tokyo. And okay. I was there pretty much by myself but mm. it didn't really affect me mm. the thing that affected me most that I couldn't see my family and be with my family but being by myself alone all the time mm. didn't really bother me that much it's knowing how far away yeah, they were. Well, yeah that was that was the, the main the thing the thing is like during that time I used to FaceTime quite a lot of kind of friends of mine like I'm good friends yeah. with a Stephen I, I don't know if it was Stephen Taylor Newcastle <laughs> Newcastle, yeah, uh, yeah, and Dwight York and all yeah. the, or cricketers as well. Obviously, yeah. my my good friend uh, Shane Moore and stuff like oh, absolutely wow. crazy, crazy one. But we love him. And, yeah. But it's just like it's, it's like like even like another person, or they're away from their family for like six, eight yeah. weeks, and then they have to stay in the hotel room. Even Heather Watson, for example, tennis yeah. when they had to go play yeah like they can't leave the rooms we had meals to the door but why why is that during covid oh covid okay when right, we were right, traveling right. Yeah. it's yeah. like and then the amount of covid tests oh my god it was the most expensive year in the world when did you last compete then 2019 um, no i played a couple of events in 2001 I continued my medical because I had a shoulder operation and now I need pretty much two ACLs. Really? Yeah. Well, one for sure. We were just talking, we were talking before and I was saying that like a golfer's life would be kind of like not, not as many injuries, injuries well, as a footballer's life. I was a gymnast, I was mm. flipping for fun and can, can standing. We, can we do some on the show? But, well... I can't do a flip now. Can I? You can do it after though. <laughs> I, I could do the worm, maybe. It's been a while. Who, who's the who's the the best golfer you've ever played with? I grew up playing with uh, Rory McIlroy and right, Team Faldo. He's not, he's not bad. <laughs> so we had there was a series when we were kids. Um, that's what kind of started me off a little bit after. Playing, when my dad was taking me more to bigger events to just play. He, he was like, you're going to improve when you play against the best. Yeah. And, you know. Nothing that's true. Your game, right? That's true. Though. If you're playing against people you're better than. But, like, to things to. like 10, and I'm, I'm qualifying, like, 120 people for the only 36 to go into match plays was like unheard of and then it just from there just confidence goes um and then i played this faldo series where there's qualifiers and then there's a final yeah. which um i can't remember the that's been going it on for at, years the yeah, faldo series now isn't it back in the day so that the first one i played was at brocket hall okay yeah that's, close. Like, Actually, that's close. close to me yeah. i haven't played there in age but this bridge, is it? They still got the bridge. Yeah, yeah. And you take the. You <laughs> and take I was a like, oh, boat. This is so the boat, cool. the, the like little. I don't know, yeah, you call it a boat, I guess. But you take it over. Fedler. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that course, that course, the Melbourne course, it's called. I like that course. It's but really good. Very like, scenic. At the time, it was like James, you, mm. James Heath, and all the fishers. Well, yeah, and, and, James um, saying. Mel Reed, yeah. uh, Kieran Mathur. It was all like that kind of period of time. So. Got experience there. A whole year later, I finished second, and it's meant to be the winners play with Nick Faldo. Mm. And this was at like the final overseas, was it? 
or was no. it in the UK? At, we've at that we've time? traveled overseas, but um, I'm trying to think of the course is not far from me. Um, in Scotland at the time? No, Lent, uh, sorry, way. Bear Hill. Ah, okay. That was it, yeah. So finished second, and I was just just turned 12. And this is ended, crazy. Up, ended up playing a five ball. Really? And then it, from there, he said, No, I want her to join. So he picked, he, he had like seven people where he looked after. Well, it wasn't just him. God, where do I start with these stories? <laughs> going to <laughs> California, going to Orlando, which, which going to Hong Kong. We've got everywhere at the moment. Everywhere. everywhere, everywhere. Liverpool, Hong Kong. Arizona. Yeah. Oh. I need God, to get to some the, of these keep, places. We yeah. could be here for hours. <laughs> not when we've got time, don't worry. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, I'm not in a rush. <laughs> here's, here's, a, here's a question then. Um, obviously, we've had some crazy news last week in the golf world. Uh, all the tour Wasn't tours Wasn't that merging. a tour player that got literally wrestled on... I saw that, yeah. We yeah. saw it yesterday. You know yeah. I only just found that out. I was going to make you laugh here. Did, did you see this? Look, security guard mistakes world number 75. That's I know, that's what like, That's oh what we my just God. thought about. Hey. You got wrestled to the yeah. floor. Is it <laughs> hard like, yeah. You better be forward. Yeah. <laughs> that were very embarrassing. <laughs> but back to that question, like in yeah. your situation playing golf, um, if there was like, there isn't anything now for like ladies and the, the bracket, like you were saying, is so much different, like men's that, Yeah, it's, I think sport, it's the same with... In football, all sports, football, like yeah. men's prize funds for it's example much, it's much, well, it's much here higher, isn't it? I, I mean for where like I'll start oh, never spoke about wins yet I mean in golf not my football <laughs> ones <laughs> um, like now you're listening to us <laughs> <laughs> you know my first couple of years were, were tough you know from going amateur to pro professional and then you felt like oh, Getting sponsors, you know, I signed with Nike and they looked after me for most of my amateur career. And just, uh, it was, was the, like, whoa, well, this is... How old were you when I you was signed still for in, them? I was still doing my A-levels. How much did they pay my, you? I'm not going to say. <laughs> not enough, <laughs> put it that way. <laughs> but uh, it, it's like the fact that I went to Q school when I was 17, just for experience, just to see. And I obviously made my card and I'm like... Holy moly, I'm missing three weeks in a row at school where I'm just, like finishing my A levels and like teachers were like, Oh welcome back. Here's like yeah. ten essays you gotta do in English. I had a, I did English R and P I did not fail. Got all my <laughs> got all my A levels, but I'm like, Mom, there's five, I'll do five. Yeah. I'll uh, dumb yours down, you can make mine better, <laughs> like teamwork. But uh, yeah, no, that was very stressful first year on tour. And, you know, being so young as well. But I learned a lot. Did you feel like you had, because you're and so And I had young, no money as well after two years. Okay, I that's what missed, I was I missed, to. yeah. So I lost my card, had to go back to Q school, lo uh, lost in a playoff. And uh, so I didn't did? go to. Uh, oh. I am now, I'm 19, and uh, I didn't get into the start, like the start events, so then there were, that's when normally we go to Australia uh, in February, or I'd go to Dubai for a month practice and, yeah. and go from there. So I was like, I need to do some warm-up events, and then I might need to start asking for invites, yeah. etc. Et and uh, so I played it. An LET access event, which is the lower tour, and I thought I'll go there. It's a it's a bit of a warm up. One on the, on an extra playoff, which was obviously the boost I got. Two two weeks later, um, I actually got an invite into the Scottish Open, oh. and um, won that on an invite. And then I how did you feel when you won though there? I almost left this putt short. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you know, when it's not, it, it wasn't really, it didn't really kind of sink register. in until yeah. this moment. And, I, you know, who caddied for me was a, a guy named Barry Hume, which is a very known name in Scotland um, way back in the day. He, he's got his amateur days back, but uh, 
he was same time as my brother, uh, like men's chest, like one literally everything, you know, one of those destined to be like. Why did you feel so much pressure? Though? And he goes to me, I'm leading a European tour. Yeah. He's leading after round one, Mrs. Cut, and he goes, it's not, f I can't do this. <laughs> 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 no, but like imagine leading and then, Ms. yeah, so I mean, it's, it's a mental game, isn't it? Mm. And he goes to me after, it's only three rounds, and uh, uh, he's like, are you going to give me a little bit extra? He's only Kenny as a friend. Yeah. You need me a little tip if we win. And I was like, I'll think about it, okay? Um, <laughs> but, I wasn't ex but I wasn't expecting it. And then I'm in the last round, like in the last day. And, you know, it's, it, it's a more, it's, it's a kind of pro-army uh, event. So this was a start. Low money, but um, my playing partner was Brendan Cole. Uh, the Strictly Dancer. Yeah, 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 yeah. So... Did he win that as well? I think he did. Or has he come to semi-final? Well, he, well, <laughs> well, between him and Anton Tebeck are my two friends. And I always felt sorry for Anton on Strictly. Because yeah. I feel like he always seemed to get the... Not the best or the lightest or yeah. youngest. <laughs> um, but the... The thing for me was my mum and my dad's senior brother was there yeah. when I won and it was just amazing, right? It's like imagine having your maiden victory yeah. on the main tour in Scotland mm. and having your family there because, you know, for years and years and years, Why they, don't, they, they don't travel. Why wasn't your dad there? Well, he couldn't be bothered, really. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was... <laughs> he... he, he he really struggled to walk, so oh. I think he came the first day, but he watches me on the first yeah. and the ninth and then the eighteenth oh, right, yeah, yeah. and talks to everybody else. Yeah, yeah. He can, <laughs> um, and then yeah, like the year after, he's like, "Well, I might come if you've got a chance of winning." Mm -hmm. yeah. Wasn't there something as a junior where they wouldn't like your parents watch you? Oh yeah, we oh we owned that. That was bad. That was wouldn't when let I was you, ten. Wouldn't watch you, and you was how old? Wouldn't let parents ten. So. So, um, Who's, was that just in Scott? Was that all junior events? I've got, I'll show you the video later, but um, yeah, literally. They literally didn't want parents on the Why course. is that? Well, my dad, my dad literally doesn't have a filter. Oh. And, you know, for me, sometimes I'm like, quite embarrassed, but he literally went mental like, she's 10 years old. Uh, how like how can we not watch? And there's lots of parents because we travel. We're all I traveling. guess he's swearing and everything. Don't worry. You can no, it doesn't. It does. My dad doesn't. Do you know why he doesn't swear? He did swear when he was a kid. Then someone asked when he won British Wrestling Championship, and a young boy asked for his autograph. He said, "I need to start making an example." He never drank. Never smoked. Fantastic. So what? So how can I? I mean, you're ten. And parents are not allowed to come and support their kids. Well, for this event, like I've gone in for a meeting and you get yeah. like a piece of paper out. Like I don't know, I'll just show yeah. him it. Then the 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 main lady comes out. My dad's wanting to have a conversation, and people are watching. Yeah. And her husband is the main photographer <laughs> for the whole Scottish uh, golf union and everything. Yeah. And he goes, you know, this is illegal what you're doing. <laughs> Because, like, we're encouraged to watch, like, my brother, like, and stuff, like, and, and every other sport. So why is this different? Mm -hmm. And there's a public footpath that went through Palfoot, so it's south of Scotland, this, this course. And literally she just said, because we don't want them to cheat. Well, well public footpath, why can't I go on that? Well, if you go on that and we find out, you're, I'll be disqualified. Like, it's not really encouraging. And it's third, is it? I'm playing that thirty six. Awful, it, yeah. I'm playing thirty six holes the next morning. And you got this in your mind. As and well. I'm ten, and I don't yeah. know anyone. And my dad just like literally goes, "I'm gonna get this printed." Yeah. She goes, "You'll never get this printed." So, <laughs> <You do. laughs> my mum's on radio. <laughs> yeah. 
literally, we've got the lawyers involved. I'm doing a full-on piece on <laughs> STV News for like a three-minute thing. Um, it was just like they couldn't take it to court because what they were doing was uh, yeah. just. But it's still not nice. And it's good that you. But got it's like to put why? It there, right? why? And that's why I was like, uh, the the end of that whole thing I did. I mean, I remember like reading it. I couldn't say a few words very well, yeah. <laughs> you know, provisos, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> which I get a lot of um, funny comments about when <laughs> I've found it on a tape. And yeah, um, but like the end of it was like, I'm going to start. I'm going to work hard to like have girls be treated the same mm. as boys because I was also not very accepted in any of the clubs because it was all older women that couldn't really always oh, put with the boys mm. all the junior events how did they take to you winning things as a youngster they hated me and never like no one wanted to play with me like in the ladies kind of club champs or like medals it's always one or two that would mm. play that that were a low handicapper do you think it's changed now oh it's changed it's this is i mean we're going back over like 20 but years. There is still a little bit of that. I, I even remember growing up and not being allowed to win things as a junior, playing men's events and things like that, and like winning things, but they're like, you can't win that because it's not. You that's can get your handicap cut, but you're not allowed to win the that's trophy. That's the traditional rules, though, isn't but it? That's that like was, the old-fashioned rules. Yeah, but how was, I, I think that's still a thing today. How does that encourage people, youngsters, to play that's the true, golf yeah. and take up the game? It doesn't, does it? Yeah, like, I mean, I've, I feel like we've, we've made a big impression, you know, with making golf look more right, uh, feminine. Like, it's everyone used to look at it as like a, a male sport and like old women, you know, where you've got, got like, say, Paula Creamer and all these mm -hmm. one from the star, or Natalie Galvis, and it's progressed from there where there was a borderline with some girls with too short of skirts, I, I must say, but... I want to ask you a question about that later, to be honest. Right. <laughs> God. But, what? This, is where, <laughs> this is where I get a little bit uh, <laughs> in two minds because it's promoting, but then it's like, what, what have fact, you I'll done? You what have you done? Hold on, I'll ask you now this. So like, right, as long as I know what... <laughs> as long as I can review all this with her. Yeah, no, that's yeah. cool. So yeah. I'm saying that, like, Which just wasn't just water. On Instagram and whatnot, you always see these, like, influencers, you know, Paige, was it? Spring, uh, like, people like that. Do you, you as a I woman, and, a, and, a, and a, a top golfer, I think for she everything had, you've she achieved, do you think she does a lot for she, golf or not? She had to make, she wasn't good enough, and she had to make a decision. She came to play the Scottish Open once, and she came to Dubai once. And I'm like, she's either one or the other. Mm. You're, a, you're either a golfer, you're in like that kind of... But do you think she's helped um, the women's game or not? <laughs> she's taken it too far. And yeah. I don't, I actually unfollowed her. I, I, I unfollowed her. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, well, she's not got a talent. It's not a talent, you know, where, you know, there's a few that... Oh God, I'm trying to think. Uh, um, Tish, do you follow the... Uh, I don't have to say her surname, Tish, A something. I you, sorry, you, I've not got my phone, <laughs> I've got mine. Tish. But she, she gives, like, she does a lot of reels and mm. like makes it a bit more interesting. You know who does, does well, like someone like Lulu? For, for women's oh, golf? Oh, Tish. Tish Alin. Yeah. Let's alien, see. Alien, Tisha Alien. Alien? Yeah. Like she, she gives a bit of like variety, mm. and she can talk well, and she yeah. makes it a bit more interesting. Not just page, mm. like yeah. this. And she like doesn't even talk about golf these days. So I think she's doing something. That's a, like, that's a but she gets paid like shit loads of money for a, like a post, right? But like this is what that's why I'm. It's coming why to I find because... it's unfair for the girls that worked really hard. Mm. But then, then I'm like, geez, I don't know how you like. I need to start learning how to this real. <laughs> it took me, I don't even know how to do it. And I, 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 I remember like talking to like more management. I'm like, how do, I, how do they do this? Like, I don't know how to put it all together. But you know what the thing is, like, I'm not I'm very, I'm not very good group. at it. Okay, so this right, is what, so can we work together on this? <laughs> we could talk about. <laughs> that after. We could do one after. <laughs> Carly, so obviously, I mean, you're 
you know, top of your game and whatnot. But this is, this is the thing what I come to, right? Especially in the women's game. You don't earn as much as men, right? And if you're not good enough, like the people we've just spoken about, how do you make money from the game, right? This is the only way they're going to make money from the game or be a teacher or work on TV, right? So as much as me looking from the outside as an amateur, as much as, yes, they failed at being a professional golfer, they have to make ends meet somehow. But my question is, Again, I'm asking you straight. Yeah, well, Do you yeah. think that people like her kind of put a bad look on the women's game? Or do you think they help it? This is where it's hard because, like, I know for, like, obviously being injured, I was kind of known and had followers. I lost followers because I've not been on tour. Yeah. I think most of mine are genuine followers. She's got a certain, she's got certain followers. Mm. Mm. Horny men. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. you know, true, not like I've got, I would say more of my friends are more actual beneficial people. Mm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but a lot less. I, so I, I'll tell you it, one it, thing. Her, it, it's good because it, it's, she, it's eyeballs on golf. But the who her audience is men, like you said. But it's not this actual is, women. This so is, when, yeah. if you're referencing women's game, Probably this is the, a massive yeah. thing is that what's that OnlyFans or whatever makes like mm. money. Um, OnlyFans the app. Yeah. No, and, OnlyFans and like, is just like the app or the website. I don't know. Well, I don't, I don't I have like OnlyFans. Like, Does anyone no, have OnlyFans? No, no, but like, <laughs> no, but like, like this is what like I've had caddies or mates or guy friends go, just go on OnlyFans, whatever. Everyone loves, just, just post your, just post your coughs. You could, yeah. <laughs> this is what people yeah, do, you know. Yeah. Feet, calves, yeah. like anything. It's like craziness. You can read about We're it. We're gonna put a paywall for out of bounds. And uh, I'm just like, just oh, but I feel like, <laughs> let's all just, just do the calves. Okay, yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, but I just kind of, oh no, that's just going down a route where I'm. No, okay, no. well, I would like the money, but <laughs> I'm thinking I'm, there's By no way means. back. Yeah. But I, I look I look at the you know football is very much the same actually like as in the men the money you can earn as in the Premier yeah. League for a man and then the money in the women's it's game massive difference. it's a massive it's difference. A joke, so yeah. how how do you think the women's game can improve and make it not maybe the same but at least like in that kind of ballpark? Well, I mean, I think again everything's a lot of it. Where the LET struggled, we didn't have a lot of live TV. So the LPJ was always more of uh, an in, like where the money was at, and now like at least with like Saudi coming in, we've got more events, and uh, you know we've had a couple of really bad years and losing a lot of events during during COVID and stuff. So it was kind of like slightly picking up and then crash, yeah. and now getting better and annoying because geez it's more money and I can't play um would you go to live if there was a live ladies well I was well, before I was the all first the news we just had well I'd have to get surgery I think if um, you was fit healthy I'm not gonna answer that because I don't no. know because I was their first first lady sponsored player mm -hmm. and yeah I don't, they didn't really treat me too well so um, well, they did and they don't. It was just, it was a growing process and it, it ended up not... Working out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so that's a, a, that's another question, but it is improving. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the LPJ is really strong with all their events. It's almost like too many events for them. And it's, 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 it's just, it's, it's always been a continued process I guess right. so yeah but I'm like I'm one that like I'm not like a proper golf lover oh really in a sense yeah like I just oh play. so you just play because you're good at it yeah oh shit do you know what's funny so you unless you don't I like play golf. with fun with yeah. friends but I always remember my mum saying to me uh, when I was like 14 15 you know, you don't have to play golf if you don't want to. I'm like, well, what else am I going to do? 
You're good at it. See, I'm the opposite in football. Like, I love football. If you, if anyone says to me, "Oh, come and have a kick around," like a there. power league or something, I'm yeah. there. If but someone calls me yeah. now, I'm there tonight. Yeah. But like, there's other footballers that, but, again, Ben yeah. White, for example. Yeah. He, he hates football. A lot of golf he don't watch football, way. but he's good at it. But I think don't that's like where I lost my drive. And then after doing it, you know, getting starting to get injured and things, you know. How do you get injured? Like, uh, sorry. Like, too many. I was like just go, in the like gym go, all the time. Oh, is that it? You got injured in the bored. gym? Oh, bored. Bored. Travelling. <laughs> 40, 40 weeks a year. Okay, so hold on. We've got a challenge on this show. <laughs> closest, <laughs> closest to the pin. <laughs> you closest to the pin. Can you do it? Are you fit enough to do it? <laughs> to hit a ball? Yeah. yeah. Oh, can you know, got, a golf ball? Oh, yeah. come on then. Oh, I thought we were talking about football. Yeah. No, just, just, just firstly, <laughs> yeah, firstly. First, no, I can, I can still play. I'm not. I'm not I want to get a game. We need to get a game then. We need to get a game for sure. But you can play Hackley Common anytime. That's... You can play Hadley with any time. I don't. I find it difficult to come <laughs> oh, across the water. I think you should come down. <laughs> <laughs> Challenge. This is our leaderboard. Okay. At the top, somebody you know. See? Yeah, she's leading. So you don't have to look at the rest. Yeah, I would like to Do you know a guy called Jay? Yeah. There's a million Jays. That's me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I had a feeling. I had a feeling. Do you know who this one is down here? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. I hit, I hit it in the bunker. I hit it in the bunker. <laughs> Carly, we've got you on the Out of Bounds Challenge. Are you ready? I'm just warmed up. Have you had your, you've had your warm-ups. You've had your drink. Are you ready to go now? I've had Do you want to hit one more, more warm-up? No, 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 it's fine. Here's your goal, Paul. You ready to go? What club are you Taylor using? Carly, Carly has said to us actually, she don't like warming up. She just likes turning up and she can go. She can turn it on when she well, wants. Well, I mean, I need a little stretch. A stretch? Yeah. Do you want to have a few cartwheels? Well, do a few cartwheels and. <laughs> okay, <laughs> right. No, but look. The cartwheels now. I, I've had to calm it down since then. You know? <laughs> okay, I was then. always stretched before. Now it's like, like so. oh my God. <laughs> What's happened to me? Um, right, right, so we're starting off here. So. Yeah. So it's 109 yards, 10 yards downhill. The closest so far is two foot away. Oh, jeez. Have you got it in you? I'll try. Two foot away. Two foot away, is, I mean, it's going to take some doing. I'll be very impressed. Are you having a warm up or straight in? This is it. Just go straight for in. it. Okay, three shots. Strikes pure, straight at it, that one. Oh, just a little bit. a little bit. That's Tell you what, distance, though. Know. The distance, distance is perfect. So that one, how far what was that? that? I don't know. All right, because you're not beating me at the moment. Oh, you are. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, how, how many shots have you had that's before? Nine foot away, that one. That's a very good start. Right, very looks like I need to aim a bit to the right. Just drawing in. Started on it's because right I'm side closing the, the face down. I'll tell you what. Oh, God. Oh, wow. Oh. Any good? <laughs> seven yeah. foot seven. Oh, not too bad. I'll take seven that. Seven foot seven. How have you hit that to two feet? <laughs> <laughs> I've not even seen no, you hit a ball five, yet. Five, five, five. It was Incy that was two foot. Oh, sorry. Was two foot. Did, that makes actually. more sense <laughs> now. She closed, she, closed the, she closed the face like yeah, you just did. Yeah, she hit a little hook in there. That was a nice shot. Look at the little draw. <sighs> right. You're going for the draw again. Drawing again. Oh, please draw. It? No, I think it's gone a bit fady. You used to draw spin into that. Ooh, hold on. I mean, six foot six inches. I mean, I would take that. That is. That, is, <laughs> that was good. That was good. That was good. Well done. Amazing. Guys. <laughs> good work. Yeah. But Carly, I have to say, it's, it's clear to say that at the moment I'm third. Do you know second what? Best oh, sure. Oh, All right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now all I've got to do is beat you on the course. <laughs> well, we're going to plan this, <laughs> and that will be exciting. Six foot six inches, and you're so going on our leaderboard to make some space, Jay. There we go. It's filling up. First, that... but I'll take top three. Yeah, yeah me as an amateur, I, I always want yeah. to know these questions. What's the three best courses you've played? I hate this question because I've played so <laughs> many, and there's still so many I want to play, but Loch Lomond's one of my favourite. Um, I played Sage Valley, there's a course quite close to Augusta. There's a big junior event, is that what you played there? No. Like invitational? No, uh, no. no you just played there. Oh, okay. <laughs> you just played there. <laughs> Sorry, I've not managed to get on Augusta yet, <laughs> which everyone keeps asking. And um, I want to do a little bit more of the courses down the kind of LA 
Like, yeah. I've never been to San Francisco. I, I want to do, you know what I want to do? What, sorry? Trump LA, we played in February. Mm. I know Trump's an arsehole, but we played it. We played the course and he, to be well, fair, the Well, do you know, when I first course. met him, actually, was that... Oh, God. <laughs> no, I only got... I was his 46th follower on Twitter. Really? I don't know why I'm... <laughs> <laughs> At the time... At the time. The ro the time. And The Rock follows me. What? The Rock? Dwayne? Yeah. The Rock? What? Oh, I've had loads of conversations with him. What? Yeah, yeah, he's a <laughs> Can you get him on the show? No. <laughs> Men, uh, and Is there the only way you can what, call right now? What's he sent to you? Oh, loads of, we've had Wait, lots of chit chat years ago. Right, though. Is there anyone you can call right now that we well, can speak to? <laughs> <laughs> oh, the LAT did this to me once, and guess who actually answered <laughs> was Marlon Wayans, you know, off White oh, yeah, yeah. And he's in White a fucking <laughs> fat suit getting makeup on. Like, What's up, Marlon? I'm like, Okay, it's this bad time. <laughs> you're on TV. You're actually lot like they're filming. I'm like, I knew you'd answer though. Um, the and Rock, you know. The Rock, the Rock's a big one. He's, a, he's the most well-known yeah. person in the he's world now. Yeah. yeah, it's true. <laughs> can he play golf? Not well, but he he, he sent he, me a picture can... going. I don't know what I'm doing, but I can hit this thing Does she know like a freaking mile. You don't know Khaled, do you? DJ Khaled. No, I he's, don't he's, know him. he's like loving the golf now, isn't he? He's got into golf. He's done, to be I've fair, he's done, he's done well for game, to be honest. What, what do you think of these people, obviously big musicians and like people in the industry globally, <laughs> like that are playing golf and into golf? Do you think it's... It, I, I think it's brilliant. I like what he's doing for the game. Yeah. He's making it a game that everyone can play. Now. He's making it exciting. Putting eyeballs on the game. Yeah, exactly. No. <laughs> are we sorry? Are we talking about Trump or are we talking about you, Khaled? <laughs> we're just flipping. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah, we're just, we're just, going, just going back I had to think forward. for a we're second. Going we're going back and forth. Um, I just, you know what? Like, is it golf is such a social sport, and it's it just brings everyone together, and mm. that's what I love about it. Um, okay, so you're, mm. your third best course because you're in next two. Best course down here and then anywhere, oh. anywhere. This is hard for me because it depends if I've played really well. Or if I, <laughs> and who I played with at the time. True. There's loads of people I've played You, you hate like, Real Murray. I don't like Sunnendale. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what I mean for me. Like, when you play so many, it's actually more of the experience of the people I was with. Or yeah, was true, I true. playing a tournament? Or, like, was I just played amazing? So, like, for example, Peterhead, where I couldn't remember a single hole when I was 15 and um, didn't have a practice round, came from school, dad took me up there. Um, and this is the Scottish under 18s uh, when I was 15. Uh, couldn't get out and shot nine under and I'm leading by 10 shots in the, the first round of the, the, the 36 holes. So that's one of your favorite courses then? I can't remember a, like a single <laughs> hole, but yeah, you can remember using his own. But actually, you know, but yeah. this is where I felt like this is when we were talking earlier about my dad and the 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 strength he put in me with my mental side. Um, I got to the final and I was three down after nine. I couldn't believe it. I went and sat behind a bush. I uh, went to go well, yeah. pretend to go to the toilet, and I literally was like this. I'm not going to lose. I won the next five holes, one, three, and two. Wow. Do you know what? That's yeah, where how sport becomes yeah. Yeah. such a mental game. Yeah. Okay, so... And Still I've can't got, remember a single hole. Yeah. Loads of people must ask you this as well. So, off camera, we were speaking about all the people you, yeah. you've met and you've known, so I'm not even going to ask well, you to talk about them. Who's that you haven't played with? Who, who would be your best four ball? Tiger Woods. Tiger Woods, Mark Wahlberg, The Rock. Me. Yeah. Boom. That's a good four ball. A good four ball. Yeah. If I could do that, <laughs> I can't do that. I could do it a little bit. <laughs> Listen, Carly, thanks so much uh, for coming no, in. It's, it's been, been a pleasure, guys. It's been thanks. great. Thanks yeah, for great. coming yeah. on, Carly. Yeah.